Okay, we're gonna do Fury first thing. Wrong one, wrong one. Fight each other. Yes! Oh, he's... That's a perfect example. Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here, and welcome back to Skyrim Permadeath Roleplay. Yes, the place where Empress Palpatine is trying to become the queen of Skyrim, and if she dies, she's done, because, hey, it's Permadeath, and we're roleplaying, and my shirt's a little glowy. We're that side. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm Now I'm in the corner. doesn't matter any longer. Anywho, so we were fired. Fired? God. We were arrested. Completely different than fired. We were arrested last episode, and I'm not exactly sure what Empress Palpatine did. Now, we've done plenty to deserve being arrested, but I'm not exactly sure specifically what happened. Um, that's really pretty. Oh, look, that's a constellation. I wonder if these constellations are actually all in the sky, like you can find them. That would be super epic if that was the case. I'm taking a moment to like get a really good look at it. Oh man, that would be fantastic. So one thing too that I taking into consideration is the moon. Uh, it's hard to imagine Skyrim as like somewhere in the universe, but that's kind of what they set up when they have like, you know, stars and planets. That's another planet, but they have gods and afterlives and stuff. So it's just kind of a weird, weird thing. Anywho, we were doing the bandit wife quest thing and I, it's been a long time because I've been arrested and I had to fast travel and I had to sleep and so it's been like a day Nice So people should hopefully be sleeping right now It's been long enough that they're not just guarding the door and destroying me the moment I come through Okay, we're gonna do fury first thing Wrong one wrong one. Oh Oh wow, you guys look very strong um whoop. Fight each other. Fight each other. Fight each other. Yes! Oh, he's... That's a perfect example. Perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Y'all want to have more fury? Because you can. You can. Now your buddy's going to attack you, too. Ow! Or not. Oh, God. You're both... Holy crap. Woo! Jump back. Getting the healing out. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing just fine. Yes! They were actually pretty weak. And probably only the first two guys were any strong. Any strong? That's a word. I'm gonna stick with it. I'm pro Oh, I thought that was coming out of my head. Like, see, right right above? I'm just, jeez. Oh, man. I, that's a long shot. You know, and that must have been a shot when it was like, it hit me when I was like, leaning forward. I'm so, so I can I'm seeing myself for a second so I can leaning forward and like swinging and then got shot How God, I have an immersive arrow mod and uh, I really disliked when I was playing an archer on my own playthroughs About how only like three arrows stuck to anybody and so someone's like yeah, we just made it more arrows I'm like that's, that's the greatest thing ever so take that iron helmet uh, no, don't want for armor. Take your gold. Don't want your warhammer. Yeah, these guys are a lot easier to take out, which was nice. Because, uh, that was a little scary for a moment. Take your Nord Mead. I mean, because that one time, right when we walked in, I was just demolished. An Imperial, huh? The game's still acting like there's still, like, stuff going on. Ooh, note. The lady we grabbed down by the river turned out to be a feisty one. Uh, Burbag? What? That's a name? Burbag? Thought he could beat some respect into her, but it looks like he used too strong a hand. Not gonna be happy when she hears about this. Well, yeah, I would also not be happy if I'm trying to ransom people and then I just kill the people. You don't make any money if you kill the people. Huh. Ooh, we're gonna take some food. I I'm at a point where I've, like, I've cooked a lot of my food, and now cooked food kind of a uh, long taffy treat cooked food kind of um is that an arrow that's an arrow kind of is more useful for healing than it is for eating and uh yeah, you know i because i want to use food for eating because i can't use potions so hello my leg clipping through my clothing but that's okay got some wine 
wooden bowl filled with something. Garlic? Oh yeah, garlic. Nice. So the game still thinks I'm in fight mode, but I mean, the, the, the eyes closed. My English is totally on par. All right, master balcony. We had a crash, but the, we just got through the door, so it saved, which was really nice. All right. Ah, second door. All right, now you can see what has happened to this man's wife. Because, you know, it seems that at the moment she has been killed. That imperial woman, dead. But the mission tells us to continue going. So it's like, wait a second. Is that not her? Who got Stormcloak officer boots. That's kind of cool. You got a good look to them. All right, Snowback. Who are you and what are you doing in my tower? Look at that face paint. Fiola. How do you know that name? Krister? He's Presby. here? The what? fool's my husband. I'm Fiola. Or I was, once. Don't you see? I left that old scab. Came home to Skyrim and found this rabble of bandits. Didn't take much to prove myself and knock them into shape. Now every free blade from here to Windhelm wants to sign on for a piece. I love this. This is like such a cool twist to the story of like, my wife has been captured. Please help me. You go and you find that she left the person because she didn't like him anymore. And she wanted to become, and she became a criminal. It's like, that's quite a story. I die before I went back. There's no way you what am I supposed to This is this is pointless. What am I supposed to tell Krister? I never expected the old bag to follow me so far. Just get rid of him. But don't kill him. I don't hate the man. I just want him to go back to his farm and forget about me. So I'm in a weird role right now. I as, as Empress Palpatine, I personally like uh like just killing people isn't as good as a thing. I think They'll probably give me some dialogue options that allow us to say something really evil. Take my wedding band. Stoon only knows why I kept it this long. He'll recognize it. Tell him whatever you think will convince him to leave. The ring itself is worth a few bits. Keep it as thanks for cutting off the last vestige of an unwanted fate. I've like killed your entire bandit group and you're like, ah, that's fine. Some good books here. So I love this little like... I didn't expect to see you again. What became of my doting husband? I haven't dealt with him stop yet. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> and I love how I can just take this gold. It's not stealing. Now she's like an actual character. So she's been ransoming people. And so I'm in a position where it's like... Oh, cool. Heavy armor. I'm in a position where it's like I could kill her, right? You know, and because she's been ransoming people and she's bad but i'm evil too so maybe i should keep her alive like i've killed off her I whole army see you again. What became of my doting husband? Oh, she married him i think that's such an interesting thing like they were in love and or they weren't like maybe that's it maybe only he was in love um but i want to go and uh, let's talk to the husband see what he has to say going back going back to hubby a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. On a personal note, I find this... Um, oh, wow, jeez. I find this mission to be particularly... like because For one, it's really cool to see like the, um, like the role change. You have lots of examples of people actually, you know, breaking those uh, bonds that, you know, they typically have. And it's, you know, this is an example of, like, this woman just didn't want to be a part of this anymore. Um, what, what should I tell him? News. Why isn't Fiona with you? Let's think. Should I say she's dead so he's emotionally distraught? How about, no, I want him to be curious his entire man. life. And there's hope. Yes, so I want him to have hope. I have to move on if I want to find her. Please. I want him to remember her forever so that he never forgets about her so that he emotionally is constantly thinking of her that's what I want how do I get back to Fiola perfect she cut that's cool they have her come down so I can just 
it's you. I didn't think you could handle this on your own. Did you I killed everybody. I think I did just fine. How did... No. Forget it. I don't care to know. I'm free of the little man, and that's what matters. I owe you a debt, and I aim to repay it. We'll see each other again someday. For now, goodbye and thanks. Uh, so here's the question. Now, I'm going to leave this up to y'all, because I made I came up with a question last time where I was like, what should I do as Empress Palpatine? And I decided to come back here after doing the sneaky, you know, like coming back later so that I can actually enter the door. Um, we've now emotionally damaged this guy, because for the rest of his life, he's going to think that... <laughs> he's going to think that his wife is alive somewhere and that he'll be able to find her and so he and so he'll have the opportunity to you know eventually discover the truth that she was actually the bandit and that she didn't want to see him anymore he spent his entire life trying to find her again and i like that emotional damage to him i kind of want to kill her though because it's like that would be evil too but if you, you know, we kind of line up all the evil options, is it, you know, like, Empress Palpatine's about emotional damage as much as she is, like, actual, like, killing people. Um, like, I'm walking through a mammoth. That must be emotionally damaging. Um, for example. Uh, but I mean, so, but I feel like if she lives, that's gonna be, you know, the opportunity for him to be more emotionally damaged. And for her to do more just stuff to the world, you know? She's stealing people and ransoming them and that you know it's a little bit more crazy a little bit more chaos is an empress palpatine kind of thing uh wolves i you know wolves i'm debating on how i should like increase like how much magicka i should do because striking like that's really fun i've contracted rack joint god damn it that wolf just like fell into the ground <laughs> all right what is rock joint what do, what do I have to worry about now? Let's see. Reduced weapon skills. With me- Wow. Jeez. That's that's serious. Well. <laughs> we're just gonna have rock joint now, I guess, for a little while. I think this might be a good opportunity to actually do more destruction then. Because if we're weaker with our melee, what else are we gonna do? Oh, it might be fun to increase- I don't know what I want. I legitimately am so unsure if what, like, do I want to be more, je okay, actually, let me be honest. Whenever I play games, and it's like, I'm a Jedi, and I have Jedi skills, I love, 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 love doing anything mental. I love the mind tricks. I think it's fascinating and fun to, like, have people fight each other, and then it's, it's just cool. However, Empress Palpatine, lightning is pretty damn cool, so I don't really know what I want to do. I also know that I don't want to fast travel back to get this rock joint fixed quite yet. Huh. And I want to just hit this point real quick so that we can get it on the thing. Thing-a-ding. Almost there. Almost there. I really hope there's not going to be a bunch of bandits. I have a potion that will heal me of any disease seriously no bandits that's kind of nice this is a dwarven ruin um i don't see empress palpatine ever going in a dwarven ruin unless there's a good reason or somebody to kill or something like that um but it's just it doesn't seem to be on her quest of power it's more of a quest of knowledge is how i would look at it um shoosh can i jump down here safely i might be a, there might be a path down here yeah this looks like that yeah, we're good, we're good. Oh, you know what? Somebody we haven't run into, which I'm terrified about running into. Uh, I forgot what they're called, but they're basically mountain lions. And uh, they they kill you. Like, when you play a normal mode and you're level 7, they kill you. Just immediately. And if we run into those, that's that's an immediate run. That's a, that's not a, a fight. That's a, we gotta get the hell out. Go! Go, come back! Go. There we go. Oh god. I thought that was going to be a the, I hear growling.
I, I swear I heard another like growl something. I'm jumpy. I'm now terrified of the idea of these lions coming out. Like wolves are okay. We don't even have to worry about ice wolves, which killed us before. Let's do another fury. Come on. Come on. Fight each other. Fine. I'll just kill you myself. Jerks. God. Oh, Alright. Off we go. Continuing on our... Did this wolf just like show up out of nowhere? And it had eight gold on it. What a cool wolf. Little, little mountain flower. A little more. Fox. Man. Taking the moments to just enjoy the, the, the stars is nice. Now these spots in Skyrim. Um, I will often choose to edit out these parts. I used to not, but I'm now in a, a mindset where I will often edit. But this particular one is the opportunity for me to kind of talk about it. Where you have the this beautiful world just being explored. Oh, that sucked. And it's just such fun to walk through it. Alright, we had a second crash. So we had a bit of a, a lame crash just there. And I was getting all introspective about walking through the world and the like. You know, it's a bummer. But we got rewarded with this real quick. Which I want to take a moment to admire. When I was talking basically about the beauty of this game, check out these northern lights with this moon. This is beautiful. This is incredible. And if you hear some like rain outside, it's because it's raining super hard. <laughs> All right, dudes. Uh, thank you so much for coming by. It's always super fun to have you. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. The wind always be at your back. And the sun shine warm in your sexy, sexy faces. Because you are just so cool, and I love you. Wow, my green screen completely got changed because of the freaking rain just changed the, the everything. All right, dudes. Thank you. If you got an idea for a character, let me know down below. If I'm out of character at all, let me know. And uh, I'll get us back up to where we were. All right, see ya. Bye.